Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and I'm working in collaboration with Paradox Interactive to bring you the top 10 mods and assets of the month. Let's bring last year to a fitting close with a look back at the best from December 2021. At number 10 we have Marquis Fukuoko Momochi. This asset is based on the contemporary shopping mall with Japanese and global chains plus traditional restaurants and cafes. Be sure to read the Steam listing carefully to ensure you are subscribed to all the needed lights, lamps, signs and seats to enable this building to shine. At number 9 we have Curb Height Adjuster by Algonon. No more broken ankles for your citizens. You can now adjust the curb height from a knee jarring 30 centimeters down to either 15 or 7 centimeters in height. After adjusting all your city's curbs, if your residents still wish to jump from a great height, they will have to find their way down to the pier, where I hear you will find adrenaline junkies leaping into passing ferries all day long. At number 8 we have the Modern and Simple Kindergarten by Arthapes. Based on the Yulbyana District Kindergarten in Moscow, this elementary school not only takes in students but also has needs for uneducated, educated and well-educated workers at the small cost of 10,000 monies. With its modern and simple design it will no doubt fit right into your modern cities. At number 7 we have the Estación Central de Paraguay by McWelshman. In Paraguay's capital Asuncion you will find this railway station that is regularly used for cultural and artistic events but in your cities it will still function as a railway station. Be sure to use the loading screen mod to keep these beautiful 2k textures shared and your memory low and your citizens will thank you for such a cultural beauty added to your transportation network. At number 6 we have OSM Import by Lil Dicky. Is there a favourite city you have always wanted to build on? Well now that can be a reality for you. This mod is a revamped version of the original OSM Import to enable compatibility with newer versions of the game and will enable you to import real world map data from OpenStreetMaps and there is a very detailed wiki walkthrough that is linked on the mod steam page which I highly recommend you read through to get the very best from this mod. At number 5 we have Prop Painter Revisited by Keystar. And another revamped mod this time by Keystar endeavouring to help compatibility with other more recent mods too. Smaller in size, using the new Harmony patch, working well with mods such as Move It, with faster loading, saving times and less impact on FPS, these are just some of the benefits of using Prop Painter Revisited. At number 4 we have Railway 2 Girlsch Viaduct by Revo. The Girlsch Viaduct in Germany is the largest brick built railway bridge in the world spanning the valley of the Girlsch River. This pack features three parts, basic, elevated and bridge elevations along with guardrails and abutments, euro concrete sleepers and it is also recommended to use the node spacer mod to correctly align the node so the bridge can look the very best it can be. Now let's take a look at our top 3 and at number 3 we have more city statistics by Recavita. Who doesn't like to see the inner workings of their cities in minute detail? Well with more city statistics you can have access to 460 statistics, a full list of which is available on the mods steam page and wow it is a long list. You can pick and choose which statistics you want to show on the graphs and whether to see them for the entire lifetime of your city or for a certain chosen time period. You can also export all this beautiful information into a CSV file and go to town with a more visual representation of your data in your chosen spreadsheet program. Your citizens will never feel as cared for again as you, the mayor, spends every waking hour poring over every single minute detail of their lives. At number 2 we have the Vreyreich 1919 pack by Jazz. Based on a neighbourhood in Rotterdam with these simple but spacious houses, these assets contain two corner houses with storefront window, a corner house without storefront, one tunnel, two middle houses with and without dormer windows, one garage and one house extension. 
You can now use these variety of assets to design your own neighborhoods in your cities with these lovely looking homes. And don't forget to add some amazing looking props to beautify the gardens as well. Well done Jazz for being at number two. Let's see who is at number one this month. And at number one, we have Augsburg Town Hall by Lillenhertz. Built by Elias Hall from 1615 to 1624, the Augsburg Town Hall is a renaissance building of great historic and cultural importance. Now the administrative centre of Augsburg, Bavaria in Germany, you can give this beautiful, unique building the centre spot in your cities. How would you feel as mayor meeting with your city council in such a stylish building? I for one would love a corner office on the top floor. Well done to Lillenhertz for being number one this month. Don't forget you will find a link to a Steam collection with all of this month's featured items for your perusal and delectation in the description below. So as we reach the end of this month's list, we also reach another end. After being the voice of the top 10 mods of the month since February 2019, I am now hanging up my tea cosy. What the future holds, you will have to wait and see. Be subscribed so you don't miss finding out. I would like to personally thank each and every one of you lovely viewers for the fantastic support you've shown and also to the many, many mod and asset creators out there that takes this amazing game to whole new heights. Thank you. So for the last time here, I've been Biffa. You've been fantastic. Have a great day. Goodbye.